Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy No Name back at it again with another Giants video. And bros, I am so pumped, I'm so excited y'all. The Giants play in just 6 days, we are less than a week away. But football starts in just 2 days, we are under 48 hours from the start. Or are we under 48 hours actually? Whatever the case is, we're just 2 days away. <laughs> From the NFL coming back, bro, Chiefs, Texans, gonna be a good game. First time seeing football since, goddamn, the Super Bowl. First time since anything really football related since the Super Bowl. You know, weird offseason and whatnot. I am beyond excited, yo. I'm, I'm so pumped. I can't wait for the NFL season to get here. And, of course, then the Giants game on Monday. Oh, man, I'm so excited. But, yo, why in the world... Do colleges say, yo, let's have our semester during the football season, man. That really be um, ticking me off, bro. I wish I could just dive into this, but it is what it is. Let's get to the topic of today, though. The Giants have announced their season captains uh, for the 2020 seasons on offense, defense, and special teams. Of course, six captains. Uh, let's just hop into it. I'm going to go over offense first. The followed by defense, followed by special teams. You know, let me get my thoughts on it. Of course, you guys put your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get into it. So first things first, Saquon Barkley returning as a captain for the New York Giants. His second year in that role. Of course, his first year was last year where he was awarded with the captain badge. Saquon, since coming in, essentially, has been a leader on this offense from his rookie year. The moment he came in, he was a leader by what he did on the field. More so than him speaking up and, you know, being somebody in the locker room. Him just producing on the field is what made players look up to him and really listen to him, even as a rookie. Of course, in his second year, he took it up a notch, and that's when he became more of a verbal leader. And I hope that in his third year, he puts it all together where he could have a great season on the field for us. And then, of course, be a great leader off the field. I mean, that's what we've been hearing about Saquon. He's just the best football player you can ask for. He does what you need him to do in terms of production. And then he's also just a stellar guy to have as a leader in your locker room, man. Stellar guy in interviews, absolutely amazing. A football giant, true and true. And then, of course, followed up by Saquon Barkley. For the second year in a row, a second year player getting their team captain badge. And this time around, it's a starting quarterback. I'm pretty sure since uh, for like the past 14 years now, the Giants have had a starting quarterback as an offensive captain, and of course that is Daniel Jones. Kind of surprising me a little bit, but I'm not too shocked by it. I'm just a little surprised by it. Daniel Jones getting the captain badge in just his second year. The reason I'm, I'm a little surprised is because I thought maybe they'd say, all right, DJ, go out there and prove yourself one more time before we give you, you know, the honor that it is to be a leader on this team. But he kind of already took that into his own hands this offseason with just the way he's operated. Um, Daniel Jones really kind of stepped into the leader role as soon as Eli left. I mean, it's it's kind of like what um, beat reporters have been saying and even Pat Shermer to an extent. And of course, you know, the coaches on our current coaching staff have been saying DJ really took the time to sort of stand in Eli's shadow and observe and absorb as much as he can to learn from the guy. But when he left, he could finally come into his own. And that is what he was at Duke. And that is a true leader. The guy setting up workouts in the offseason during the COVID pandemic. You know, setting them up in areas where it was legal to do so, in a facility where it was safe to do so, with players that he needed to do so with, in Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton, Saquon Barkley, Golden Tate, the main guys that he knows he's going to have to continue to build a relationship with in the offseason. I mean, he's done that so much and taken so much on himself to try and get these workouts together and to try and, you know, basically build team morale and chemistry together that Saquon has admitted that they're now actually friends and not teammates anymore. Very glad to see that. Of course, I hope nothing but the best that this pays off for the Giants and that he continues to produce for us on the field. And I'm sure he's going to continue to be a great leader, man. Him and Saquon, they're honestly the, probably the two leaders of the entire team, not just the offense. Moving on to defense, we got newcomer Blake Martinez taking up a captain badge, our new middle linebacker, number 54. I want to say this is, at the very least, our third season in a row with a middle linebacker as captain. I'm not sure if that's been going you know for longer than that but i know before blake Al um alec ogletree was our team captain for the past two years on the defensive side of the ball blake comes in he was a captain on the packers i believe although they call it like a rotational game captain or something like that but blake comes in he's going to be a full season captain for the giants um 
kind of expected as he's going to be the middle linebacker that you know is the quarterback of the defense here for us we don't really have another proven middle linebacker up there and when i was talking about you know who my predictions for the captains would have been for the defensive side of the ball i really had like four or five players that could have you know taken that spot i was thinking blake martinez for sure just because once again he is the middle linebacker that's going to be leading the defense he is you know at least on the field you know when you're talking scheme you know x's and o's and whatnot he is the leader there i was thinking davil thomason who did obviously get it as well i'll get into him just now i was thinking maybe even marcus golden but then again marcus golden might not be the most vocal guy hey maybe it's jabril peppers who got it in another role and we'll get to that eventually or maybe even james bradbury there was so many guys on the defensive side of the ball because of veteran experience and where they came from and what they did in those previous teams that could be captains for this Giants team, which leads me to have a little bit of confidence in terms of how it might be led this season, you know, how the defense might be led, not necessarily execution, which is where that's going to come down to winning games to execute. But in terms of preparation and mindset, I really do think this defense is going to be a strong one in terms of that. Of course, Dalvin Thompson getting the second captain role. I think this is his first year being a captain for the New York Giants. Dalvin Thompson, probably the most underrated giant on the roster and probably one of the more underrated players in the entire nfl he has certainly earned his spot man 100 he's been on the giants since 2017 i think he's the second longest tenured giant on the team behind sterling shepherd him and evan ingram probably tied for that difference is donald thompson has basically started every single nfl game since his rookie year he's worked his way up the ranks from a rookie to being the leading defensive nose tackle for the giants he's a guy that you could rely on a pure rock just somebody you know that's going to be there week in week out and i'm sure while he might not be the most vocal leader thompson is known as a bit more of a quiet guy kind of like what i said about marcus golden earlier i'm sure in his own way his own ways that you know the people in the defensive room people in the defensive tackle room they follow him and you know they're comfortable with him leading them throughout whatever it is the giants are going to go through but Dalvin thompson probably more than anybody on this i'm very very happy to see get that captive badge man he's he's definitely worked hard for it and I, you know he's just one of those guys on the team that you love to see succeed um next up is jabril peppers who i mentioned earlier kind of a surprise that he's a team captain not on defense but on special teams you know jabril peppers is somebody else um I, yo was jabril peppers a captain last year i don't i don't think he was yeah, I don't think he was a captain last year. For some reason, I thought, in my mind, Jabril Peppers was a captain last year. But that just goes to show, you think about vocal leadership. I kind of spoke about Dalvin Thompson just now, who was the opposite of that. Jabril Peppers is the one person on this team, when you think of vocal leadership, energy, and getting every, everybody pumped up and making sure everybody's ready, he's the one guy on the team that embodies that. No matter what, every single game you see him out in, he's talking with the guys. He's getting them amped. He's trying to get everybody hype. He is that kind of just hype man for the entire team. Jabril Peppers is that type of leader. And I guess that's why he's always been in my mind as a captain for the Giants. Even though this, I think, is his first year. Let me double check that. Peppers, uh, yeah, this is his uh, first year as a team captain. And the only surprise here is that it's on special teams. But that doesn't diminish his role at all. In fact, it probably emboldens it. Um, I almost said Jabril Peppers again. Joe Judge, of course, a special teams guy. He's going to want to make the special teams the best you know, version of itself that it can be. Of course, Peppers was announced as, um, I think, a, a backup punt returner or behind Golden Tate, who is kind of banged up right now. So we may, we may see Jabril Peppers in that punt returner role a bit more than we expect to. And of course, he was a great punt returner in college. Um, did so a couple of times with the Browns, so he's very good at that. He's very good as a special teams player, very good as a strong safety, um, but Pe Pepper is using all over the field. Going back to my point, Joe Judge wants to make the special teams group the best that he can. He's going to have guys over there that can be strong leaders as well. You can't lead a unit without being a great player at whatever position you're doing. And Peppers, um, I think this is going to send the message, man. This is sending a message that Judge is focusing on all three parts of the team, even the ones that people may think are not necessarily important. You know what I'm saying? Peppers is kind of taking that role that I'm not sure if, um, I think it was Devin between the McCourtney brothers, but on the Patriots, uh, one of the McCourney brothers always were a uh, defensive and special teams captain as well, if I'm not uh, mistaken, or they at least had a, such a big role on the defense that they were on the special teams, I keep saying they, defense, that they were a captain. And backing up, or not backing up, but alongside Peppers 
as a uh, special teams captain is Nate Ebner, another giant safety who we brought over from the Patriots, funnily enough, specifically for his special teams acumen, his special teams IQ and talent. And that's not really a surprise. Uh, Nate Ebner was kind of a Joe Judge guy, so to speak. Um, and while he was on the Patriots, what he was was just a special teamer. So that's not at all anything to be miffed at. And I like these captains, man. It's definitely interesting. You know, the thing, the eye-catching thing being Daniel Jones getting that badge in his second year and Peppers on the special teams. But I like it. I think that we got a good set of leaders here. And as I implied earlier, I think the defense has even more leaders than, you know, those that are actually labeled as such. In terms of mentality for this Giants team, I am expecting a lot. You know, I'm not talking about on play on the field, which I do have high expectations of. I'm not talking about wins, which I have moderate expectations of. I'm talking about mentality. I have high expectations from them, and I believe these leaders could carry that out. Put your thoughts down below. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.